I've already covered getting up and running with the Laravel WebSockets package on CodeCourse, but what we're gonna do in this course is look at deploying this to Forge, uh, which is a service uh, by Laravel that allows you to quickly and easily create servers over on things like DigitalOcean, AWS, and you're probably already using Forge if you're here, so I won't spend too much time talking about that. Now, let's just take a look at the application that we built over in the up and running with Laravel WebSockets course. Basically, this is just a really simple view component on the page here, which you can't see uh, because we don't have any content in here. And we have a broadcast route, which goes ahead and broadcasts an event or uh, dispatches an event. So by doing this, what we're doing is listening to that channel and you can see sure enough without refreshing the page because this is real time, uh, we see the payload, it works dumped out. Now, this is great for local development, but when it comes to deploying this on a production environment, which I have just here, things get a little bit trickier because we need to, first of all, take into account a domain name, uh, SSL, and all that other stuff. So what I'm gonna be doing in this course is guiding you through step-by-step -step getting Laravel WebSockets deployed on a Forge built server. So we'll go through everything from start to finish, but you may wanna go ahead and check out the course that I've just demoed so you have a kind of test application to build. So let's test this out then. So I'm gonna go ahead and just inspect this over in the console. You can see that we get that view component mounted. So this is all deployed to production. And let's go ahead and duplicate this tab over and go to the broadcast route over on nuxcast.com, which is the domain I'm using to test this. And sure enough, you can see we get the same payload dumped out. Now to achieve this, there's a few different ways you can go about this, but my preferred way is having a base site, which our code is deployed to. So this is your main application that you can see just here. And then we have a separate site which acts as a reverse proxy using Nginx. So I find this the best way to do things just because uh, the, having a separate site means everything's nice and separate. If you need to delete it and start again, you can. If you need some more advanced configuration, then you don't need to worry about breaking your main site. So that's the way that we're gonna do it. We're gonna go from start to finish, getting this pushed up to GitHub, deployed, getting that Nginx reverse proxy set up, running Laravel WebSockets on production, and also configuring our DNS as well. So pretty much everything you need to get this working. Okay, that's it. Let's dive in in the next part.